we know people have faced significant challenges uh, right across the country in terms of housing. And as a government, we've stepped up uh, over the past many, many years with a national housing strategy that uh, helped uh, lead towards the investments that uh, built this place. Uh, our partnerships on initiatives like Reaching Home and Combating Homelessness, uh, which have made significant investments and increases to over the past years, are all part of understanding that housing doesn't have a one-size-fits-all solution. There are many different things and measures that we've put forward to support on housing, whether it's uh, a first-time home buyer's savings account that has allowed hundreds of thousands of families to uh, save up for a down payment in their first home, whether it's initiatives like uh, the rapid housing strategy that uh, converted homes uh, and created homes quickly uh, during the pandemic and beyond, or whether it's initiatives uh, like uh, the uh, Reaching Home program to combat homelessness or the Housing Accelerator. But the Housing Accelerator is uh, a particular program that really came together uh, because we listened and we looked at even with all the investments we've been making over the past years in housing, there was a need to do more. So we sat down uh, with community leaders and, and mayors like Cam right across the country to talk about what the barriers were. Why wasn't Canada building enough housing quickly for our growing population? And it came down to obviously many, many different factors. Uh, there is a need for greater densification. There's a need for ability to shift zoning more rapidly. Uh, there is a, needing, uh, a need uh, to look at uh, red tape and how we can accelerate processes within municipal structures. And all that uh, needed investments and support so that municipalities and councils could actually tackle the big changes, the structural changes in processes and zoning and densification that would lead to unlocking the housing needs that we had to meet in the coming years. So that's where we put forward a $4 billion housing accelerator fund to do just that. And we have been working with now 20 cities across the country uh, that have signed the housing accelerator uh, agreements uh, that reward cities that have been forward thinking, um, ambitious, willing to challenge the way things used to be done, willing to challenge nimbyism, uh, and get things done to grow communities and to meet the needs of the future. And that's exactly what this has been about. Le Fonds pour l'accélération du logement uh, est là pour créer plus de maisons plus rapidement à travers le pays. Uh, on a su uh, s'attaquer aux enjeux de densification, aux enjeux de zonage, uh, à la bureaucratie qui ralentit les processus, à toutes sortes uh, de défis auxquels les municipalités uh, faisaient face dans la construction de logements plus rapidement. Et avec ces investissements de 4 milliards de dollars à travers le pays, on a pu et on va débloquer des centaines de milliers de nouvelles unités uh, au cours des prochaines années. Here in Guelph, we're talking about 750 new units minimum over the coming couple of year, few years. Uh, and over the next 10 years, uh, 10, uh, close to 10,000 new units that we can project. But the reality is, as we change the way things are built in communities like this right across the country, we get to see more and more unlocked in meaningful ways to meet the challenges of the future. That's what this is all about, recognizing that partnerships across orders of government, you know, leaning on ambitious and visionary local leaders, from municipal leaders like him uh, to all the great community organizations who've been working, particularly here in Guelph, for decades to solve some really challenging and persistent problems uh, faced by so many citizens. This is, what, uh, this is what it's all about. It's getting things done in concrete ways that are going to help people. C'est notre engagement auprès des Canadiens de reconnaître que oui, on est en train de vivre des moments difficiles à travers le monde et ici au Canada. Mais on a les solutions quand on travaille ensemble, quand on collabore, quand on fait les investissements ciblés et nécessaires pour débloquer les processus et la croissance dont on a besoin. On va, être, on va continuer de bâtir un pays meilleur pour tous. We know that the promise of Canada is under threat. That promise that every generation can stand on the shoulders of generations before and succeed even more. Well, people are worried that that might not hold. And what we're focusing on is securing that promise of Canada, making sure that we see the best possible future for next generations while we build 
a strong economy that works for all Canadians at the same time. Canada is the best country in the world. We're going to keep working together to make it even better.